I'd like to start off first and foremost by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rocha Chodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, great millstone, who dwell in peace and safety to the men out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Um, so I just want to do a quick video um, in regard to bearing affliction, you know. And affliction can come through a lot of different ways, man. It can go through persecution. You can have a physical ailment, you know, that's ailing you. You know, um, you can get sick, you know. And um, you need to ask yourself a question. Are all those things caused not to do the work? You know, are all those things caused not to do the work? Um, you know, when um, it's time to go out and make some money, if you don't feel well, you'll still go out and make some money. You know, if you're trying to get some box, even if you don't feel well, you try to get some box, you know. Um, and there's many other things that, uh, you know, men that are, are afflicted or going through something, they do things contrary to the work, you know, and use their illness as a, or, or their affliction as an excuse not to do the work, you know. And, and the thing is, is that if you can do everything else, how come you can't have time to give reverence to the Lord, to do the work of the Lord? You know, there's no excuse for that. You know, brother, um, you know, uh, said it at camp not too long ago. He said, you know, if you if you sick and you got the flu, you know, how do you know you can't do a lesson unless you try? Which is absolutely right, you know. But a, if if your stomach is growling, you go get you something to eat, no matter if you're sick or not, you know. So, and you got to understand that this truth is primary, you know. It's not secondary, and you know the scripture says. Um, Yahweh Shai said, man will not live by bread alone, but every word that, that proceeded from the mouth of the Most High. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. So I just get a couple quick scriptures, you know. I'm not going to make it too long, but, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, go through this. So this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 2. Uh, I'll start at 1. It says, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And the things that, that, that thou hast heard of, of me among many witnesses, the same committed to faithful men, okay? I'm talking about the apostles and others that were faithful in the men today, that's on the highways and the byways, okay? Who so also teach others, all right? And you're seeing that today, you know, men teaching others. And it says, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, you see? So you, you got to endure certain afflictions and certain things improve to the most high no matter uh um no matter what he does to you or what he puts you through you're still willing to serve him you know and that's what it's all about because you know you never know what a person's true intent is until you go through adversity with them you know and that's that's true of the lord too the lord will put you through stuff to see if you're gonna sup and stick with him <clears throat> you know so um, it says, No man that worth entangle him himself with the affairs of life, that he may be pleased, that that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. You see, so you can't entangle yourself with the affairs of life. You you have to be pleasing to the man that to to the, to the Most High that chose you. All right, and the Most High chose you to do this work. He chose you to do to to participate in this truth. You know, and, and you have to understand we do live in the flesh, but it's the spirit in which we're trying to perfect. And even though your flesh is weak, man, you know, your spirit has to be willing and you got to push through it. OK. Um, this is a uh, Deuteronomy, just so you know that these things are of the Lord. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no other power with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So you see, your afflictions and things that you go through of the Most High. All right? You know? So, you know, you got, you got, you got men out there. Um, you know, like I watched this one video where this man... This, you know, he's supposed to be in the, in the truth. He couldn't find a job. And he said, I, I don't understand why it's so hard. You know, well, that was the most high test in you to see if whether or not you was true about if you was true about this thing, man. You know, and then you showed you showed exactly uh, your true colors. And the most high said it's an easy thing to make a poor man rich. But you didn't have faith that the most high would deliver you, you know, and the most high does deliver. There are many men who've been going through 
many different ailments and, and many different trials and tribulations, and they stayed faithful and the Most High delivered them. You know, look at Job, okay? You know, um, roughly paraphrasing, Job said, though he, though he slay me, you know, yet I will trust him. You see? And that's the type of mindset you have to have in this thing. Though the Most High slays you or he injures you or he may make you ill or he may cause hardship to happen upon you, you still need to trust him, you know? Because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so is the ways, the thoughts and the ways of the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. You know? So if you're that type of person, why is all this all happening to me? Why is it, 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 it? Bro, you're not enduring hardness like a good soldier. You know? A soldier, when he's on the battlefield, man, anything can happen. And you got to be prepared for that. You know? When you're on the battlefield, anything can happen. All right? So what kind of soldier are you going to be? Are you going to be the one to turn tail and start crying? Or are you going to be the one to say, you know what? That's what I signed up for. This is what I signed up for. All right. This is um. Second Timothy. Two. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. You see? So we're, do, we're out here trying to collect the elect for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shahai. So all the things that we go through, we're enduring for the sake of the elect, for the sake of his sheep, okay? That they may also obtain salvation, which is in Yahweh, Shai, Hamashiach, with eternal glory. You see? With eternal glory. So how are you going to get that eternal glory if every time something bad happens to you, you just want to fall out? What kind of faithful servant are you? You know? It says, in... It is a faithful thing saying, for if we are dead with him, we shall also live. Do you want to live with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Or do you want to, uh, do you want to, you want to, you, you want to be a part of this earth? You see? So you got to understand that this flesh is fading, this flesh is weak, and your spirit is what you're trying to perfect, man. And even on your deathbed, man, you still got to stay strong in the faith. Okay? And it says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. You see, so our sufferings, you know, suffering will, will, will translate into into ruling with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now, you know, ruling with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that consists of having, um, you know, a glorified body, having nations to bow to you, you know, um, being able to walk with 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 Yahweh, you know, be and, and, and be and 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 know, you know, who you are. Forever, never being taken away into captivity again, you know. But you got to ask yourself, is that worth it? Can you see that vision? Can you see the kingdom? Okay, because uh, uh, men perish without vision. So do you? Can you see it? You know, is it something that you're looking forward to? Is the kingdom? Is this work worth it? You know, Yahweh Yahweh Shai laid his life down so that we may be able to obtain eternal salvation. You know, so how much more of us we need to endure? All right. And it says, um, so uh, if we deny him, he will also deny us. So falling into, into your affliction and talking about how hard it is and, you know, I didn't think it was going to be all this, man. That's you denying the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. That's you denying the Lord, you see? Because you don't, you don't believe the Lord has the power to deliver you, you know? And he, indeed, he does have the power to deliver you, you know? But you have to be tested, man. You have to be tried. As silver is tried in the fire, man. You have to be tried. And, you know, in class we, in class last Sunday, we learned that silver goes through many different cuts and processes to get to its pure state. Okay? From the time that it starts off as ore to the time that it's pure silver. And, 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 they, and they put it through a lot of vigorous, stressful uh, uh, processes to extract that pure silver. And when it's done, it's pure silver. And they do the same thing with gold, you know, but all of the chaff, all of the stuff that the undesirables, it gets burned up, you see? So that's what that endurance gets you. That endurance, you know, turns you into that beautiful piece of, of, of silver or gold, you know, that's actually valuable, okay? This is, um... So my next scripture is going to be 2 Timothy 4 and 5. 
It says, but watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. You see? Endure affliction. And as I said before, affliction can be a, a vast multitude of things that could come your way. It says, do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. So you got to prove yourself, man. You know? You got to do the work of evangelists. You have to endure these afflictions, man. You know? And make full proof. You have to prove that you are true about the things that you, you're saying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know? You have to prove yourself. All right? And like I said, man, you know, a lot of men out there think that this is, this is uh, uh, a joke. You know? That when trouble come your way, you're not supposed to hold fast, man. But you are. And that's how you proving yourself is, is by holding fast to this affliction. You know? And, and you know, the, the Most High will not tempt you more than what you can bear. You know? He will not tempt you no more than, more than what you could bear. So if the Most High won't tempt you more than what you can bear, you just being a little, you know, um, a, for lack of a better word, a little bitch about the whole thing, man. You know? Because obviously you can bear what the Most High is throwing at you. You just don't want to. Okay? You want the easy route. All right, this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 2. It says, Looking into Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Now, look what our Lord end endured, man. Look, all, look at what he endured, okay? And you mean to tell me you can't, you can't endure? For the sake of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. Imagine, man, you know he he uh, uh that, that I, I I roughly paraphrase. I think it was called like the cat whip or whatever, you know. It was a uh, uh, it was a uh, um, leather strings with nails, hundreds of nails embedded into about you know seven to ten leather strings on a handle, and they whipped him with that. You know, he had to carry his cross. He, 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 you know, he, they, they, they lied on him, you know, forsook him. Why? Because he came down here to save his people, you know? And it says, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So, you know, he's, he's set down at the right hand of the Lord, man. He's, he's interceding for us. He's telling the Lord of whether or not you are enduring as a hard soldier, Okay. For consider him that endured so much contradiction of sinners against himself. So he bared all of the sin of men against himself. Okay? And he endured that. You see? And what the scripture says, it pleased the most high that he may be bruised. Roughly paraphrase it. Okay? It says, least be weary and faint in your minds. You see? So you ain't going through as much as what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai went through, man. Okay? None of us have. Okay? None of us have. So this is a race of endurance. You know, um, I'm going to uh, Matthew 24 and 13. And it says, um, or start at 12. It says, because iniquity shall abound the love. Of many shall wax cold. Okay, and that's the time that we're living in now where iniquity is abounding. It says, But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You see? So this is a race of endurance. So if you can't endure your infirmities, man, you know, if you can't endure hardship, if you can't endure trial and tribulation, you're not gonna make it through Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Ultimately that's gonna be the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But this is just a warning out there to you, to 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 you men out there who are are wavering okay you have to you have to understand that the things that we go through are to try us to see if we're true about this 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 um about this work man all right so with that i want to give all praises glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruchah wadash double honors to the elders and the apostles of grand millstone who well peace and safety to the men out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity and until the next time akim shalom